live. In the next 40 minutes, you will decide which entry represents the United Kingdom in Stockholm on May the 13th in this year's Eurovision Song Contest. Now, I'm here not because Terry Wogan couldn't fit into this little number, but because I've actually been a cult fan of Eurovision since 84, way back when Sweden actually won the contest with my all-time top entry, Diggy Lou, Diggy Lay, yes! means but we don't actually care now you're about to hear four songs one of which will carry our hopes of a millennium win to stockholm tonight's songs have been selected from hundreds of entries but it's up to you to pick a winner for the uk so listen up and let's meet the writers of song number one at their recording studio in london's carnaby street hi i'm terry i'm a mum of two and i used to write songs with mike Hi, I'm Paul. Uh, this is my third attempt at Eurovision with Mike, and let's hope it's third time lucky. Hi, I'm Mike, and I make up the team for Sexy Sadie's Song. Mike and I used to write together, and we wrote this chorus about, about six years ago. So once we really decided to go for it with this lovely hook, uh, we only had, I think, about less than a fortnight to complete the song. So we, we were up here night after night, about three solid nights on the trot. Paul's a drummer and he was getting the rhythms and everything together while I was changing a few chords. And when we put the girls' voices on it, it just seemed to work really, really well. We were looking for something a, a little bit cooler than normal and would hopefully stand up on its own merit as a song. Originally the song was written about how a guy treated a woman and it was basically, I won't let you do this to me. And then from your line there, Terry, we went on to the whole aspect of that up-down relationship, really, of um, you taking me up, you taking me down, and uh, just taking, you know, the, the treadmill of an affair. Were you happy with the end result? I was absolutely delighted. She had to say that. Yeah, I know. Yeah.
Hi, my name's Tony. I'm Catherine. And we're down here at the Cashmere Club, which is uh, uh, near Baker Street in the centre of London. And uh, this is the club where Catherine and I first met. Uh, we've been riding together for about six, seven months. Um, and Crazy was actually one of the first songs that we wrote together. I started with the lyrics and uh, brought it to Tony. And we got together. I mean, the, the great thing with working with Catherine is that she has, uh, has a book full of the most incredible ideas and comes along with some wonderful lyrics and melodies. And then she'll say, what do you reckon? And I'll go, that's exciting, but let's go in this direction. And so Crazy started as a, as a wonderful idea. From here I see you've got potential. And then we've developed it and took all the ideas of all the different times we've been in relationships and how all the crazy things happen between us and other people and the things that we do and the things that other people do and try to put it all together and, and make it something that everybody relates to a little bit because uh, as we've played this song live we've noticed that, that people go, I, I, I know someone like that and it's, <laughs> it's sometimes relationships are just crazy so that's what the song is really about. And one of the interesting things that we found out this year was that uh, we're actually the only songwriters who are also the performers uh, in the final four, which is really exciting for us. Um, and for those of you who listened to, uh, to the radio vote and heard the original version of it, uh, we've been working very hard to make it extra special for you. And we've uh, taken a lot of the spirit of the fact that even singing the song is a bit crazy and introduced a new instrument, something that doesn't often get heard these days, the famous kazoo. <laughs> And you'll hear more of that in just a minute. <laughs> I don't wanna be a bitch, but lately I've been very snappy. Something's going wrong with me and you, which means that I'm not very happy. So I try to stick around.
Hi, I'm Ken, that's short for Kimberly. And I wrote Only the Women Know, sung by six chicks. And uh, you might be interested to know I'm the bloke that wrote Love Shine and Lights, which Katrina the Waves sang in Eurovision in 1997. I've lived in Cambridge most of my life. It's my home, I like it here. And it's just great to be able to come here every day and make music and you've got the, uh, with a bit of luck, you've got the blue sky and the green fields and the chickens and the dogs and uh, can be very inspirational. How do I write songs? Well, the first thing is, every songwriter you make, they do it differently. So the second thing is, don't worry about what anybody else does, just do it your own way. With me, the first thing is, is like the motive, the idea. What's it gonna be about? So get the idea and then just try and think of the words and the music at the same time so that they're permanently joined together. Only the Women Know, that's a song I've been working on for some time and uh, it's basically a message from women to everybody else in the world and uh, we thought it'd be great to uh, put together a band of uh, six women. So we have uh, three of our own age and we found another three younger ones and uh, that, that's the origin of the bands. And so the band and the song have kind of grown up together over the last few months. Oh, hello. Uh, my name's John. And I'm Jerry. 
welcome to the kitchen. Well, this isn't actually just an ordinary kitchen. This happens to be the hub of our working environment when we write our songs. Yes, this is where we write the lyrics. John and I have been writing together about three months on this particular occasion, but we, we did some writing some 15 years ago and we got on very well and when John phoned me and said he decided that he felt creative again, I was straight round. Uh, we, we both share the, the burden of writing the lyrics <laughs> and the kind music. Of <laughs> well, lyrics are, 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 are a tougher commodity. Melodies tend to come a lot easier. When we start writing a song together, we normally kick around a few ideas, a few melody ideas, but I think most writers will tell you if you can get a good title to start with, something to hang your hat on, then you're, if not halfway there, you're a good third of the way there. I met Nicky around about 10 years ago. We were both performing uh, down in Cardiff. I was doing one venue and she was doing another. And uh, we, we seemed to go in quite well. Uh, but although nothing happened at the time, uh, it wasn't until 1995 where I did a, a remix of Total Eclipse of the Heart that things really kicked in uh, for me and Nicky. You know, people ask me, what's the most important thing about writing a song? Well, it's not so much the lyrics or the music. I think it's actually a decent cup of tea. Two sugars, please, Jerry. I thought you were on a diet. Now the telephone number you need is 09011-990 followed by 111-222-333 or 444 depending on which song you are voting for. The lines are now open but if you still can't make up your mind as to which is your top song, here's one last chance to check them out.
please to chill backstage here because the lines are now open and it is over to you to do the voting. Get on that phone. You've not got long to do your darling. And here's a quick reminder of those all important numbers. If song number one did it for you, I won't let you do this to me. Phone 09011 980 If it's thumbs up for song number two, crazy, 09011 980 For song number three, only the women know, 09011 I'm sure you're getting the hang of this by now. And song number four, if that does it for you, don't play that song again, 09011 Remember, the lines are only open for the next eight minutes, so get yourselves busy and get dialing. Meanwhile, of course, backstage here, everyone's taking a bit of a chance to chill backstage here at the BBC. They're trying to remain nice and calm. Over here we have, of course, song number one, the lovely twins of Sexy Sadie. Now, how do you feel that went, ladies? We thought it went really well. Yeah. 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 You're confident? Yeah. And uh, how would you feel if you actually went out to Sweden? It would be great. It would be an honour. It would be an honour to support our country. Very exciting. You are so identical. It's quite <laughs> unbelievable. Now over here we've got the three songwriters of this song. Now Paul, you actually came up with the, the chorus for this six years ago. What took all the time? Well, it was just stuck in a drawer, Katie, and it was... Um Terry here that yeah. found it and uh, pulled it out and we just completed it. Well, good luck. I know this is your third Eurovision potential entry, so it could be a case of third time lucky. Meanwhile, over here we have, of course, song number two, the lovely Catherine Porter, complete with gazoo. I'm very pleased to say. How are you, Catherine? I'm great, thanks. Now, you've done really big things on West End stages, so you're used to performing in front of audiences, but can I just tell you, if you're chosen for the Eurovision, we're talking an audience of 100 million people. How would you deal with that? Oh, that's... Sounds fine to me. <laughs> She's looking calm, which is a really, really good sign. And you co-wrote this song, obviously, yeah, with Tony. Yeah. Um, does that add extra pressure to you? Yeah, it makes it more exciting. More exciting. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Song number two, all the twos if you want this one. Thank you very much. And over here, we have six lovely ladies. Not one, but six Hi lovely up. six Hi. chicks. Hi. Ladies, very Hi. nice dance routine going on there. So what's the idea behind six chicks? Six chicks, um, women have always had power, but we're just yes. showing the power through all the ages. And I notice on your bio it says a lot about woman power. What's the difference between woman power and girl power? Um, it's just bigger and grown up. Yeah, That's okay. all, really. And you're really hoping to do it today, of are you? Of course, yes. Yeah, you will fancy so. a little trip to Sweden. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I want They're feeling that. confident <laughs> over here. And uh, this guy, Kim, as well, he's written a Eurovision win once before, so who knows? It might go their way. Meanwhile, over here we have Nikki French, who is blue on blue. Yes, can you see me? <laughs> blue PVC on blue. Now, Nikki, you've had a massive hit in the past. In 95, <laughs> of course, you covered Bonnie Tyler's Total Eclipse to the heart. Yeah. Number five over here, number two in the US yeah. Billboard Hot 100. Good going. What's Eurovision though for you? Why, why do you want to do that? It's, a, I just, I'm very, very patriotic and it's the opportunity to like, to fly that flag. To get and, up there. Yeah, and to do something that I'm like really proud of, to fly that flag oh, and, and represent the country. Well, you can sit here and chill now because everyone else has got to do all the work. Meanwhile, of course, last year it was Precious who did it for the UK. Here's a reminder of how they got on. the night of the Great British Song Contest and the all-girl band Precious anxiously await the result of the competition that could win them a dream ticket to Israel and international stardom. The winning song chosen by you to represent the United Kingdom with 52,457 votes, it's song number one. <laughs> you're gonna win I have to be very honest and say that when we were in England we were just I think just a tad more confident and now we've come over here and it's all getting a lot more kind of closer I think our confidence is wavering but still <laughs> strong still strong that's good that's it yeah, that's lovely it's so scary it's so nerve-wracking but so enjoyable the best and the worst feelings I've ever had were performing at the Eurovision Song Contest I suppose I enjoy more than anything else. It's it's foolishness. It's it's uh, it's spurious grandeur. It's um, it's ridiculous. Contest day has arrived, and for Precious, it's their first chance to perform in front of an international audience. Oh, Sweden!
song contest. Say it again, say yeah. Say the words I heard you whisper. Say it again, say yeah. When last night we were together, lying next to me, you said to me, say it, say it again, say yeah. Say the words I heard you whisper. Say it again, say yeah. When last night we were together, That's it, Precious, on your feet, on your feet. Hey, on your feet for Precious. There the girls. We had a great time in Jerusalem last year and we'd just like to thank you out there for voting us as your 1999 entry. Hi. <laughs> We've been really, really busy since we came back from Jerusalem. We've been all over Europe recording our debut album, which will be out in the spring. And we've got a new single coming out on March 20th, so watch out for that. Over Christmas, we went on tour with Boyzone, which was really fun. And now we're going on tour with Five, so we're very <gasps> lucky girls. Hard life, hard life. <laughs> yeah, so we just started coming here today to say good luck to all the four finalists that have made it through to today, and good luck in Stockholm, whoever you may be. Good luck. Ooh. And look, we're really sorry we can't be with you today, but look, this is the exclusive. It's our new single, and it's called Rewind. Dun, 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 dun. So we need to find a winner for this year's Eurovision. Now the phone lines have now closed, so if you haven't voted, you've missed your chance, I'm sorry. And all we have to do is count up all of your calls. But before we announce the results, here's your chance to win two tickets for this year's contest. Yes, you and a friend could be jetting off to this year's Eurovision in Stockholm, the beautiful Swedish capital, home to stunning palaces and buildings, plus the famously bustling Old Town District. Now to enter our competition, Competition to join the audience in the Globe Arena in Stockholm. Answer these three questions and watch out for that all important number. Knock, knock, who's there? Question one, Mary Hopkins sang Knock Knock Who's There in 1970. Did Mary come first, second or third? I'm just your jack in the box, no one ever I'm gonna bounce up and down on my screen. Question two, Jack in the Box, sung by the spangly Cloda Rogers. In which year did Cloda represent the United Kingdom? Was it 1970, 
country in 1965. The song is I Belong, but who is the singer? Is it Lulu, Sandy Shaw or Kathy Kirby? Well, if you are currently leaping around the room because you know all the answers, calm yourselves down and then dial the Eurovision competition hotline 09001 Now, calls cost 60p a minute and the winner will be picked at random next Saturday on CFAX page 579, where you can also see the questions again just in case you missed them. The maximum call cost is £1.20 and the lines close at midnight tomorrow. Well, the good news is all the votes you placed have now been counted. So the time has come to announce the result of Song for Europe 2000. Now, each of the winning songwriters will win one of our silver Song for Europe medals. Look at those. They are things of beauty. And the winning artists get to sing their little hearts out in Stockholm. So here goes. I have a very important envelope in my hand. Here we go. In third place, with 29,348 votes, song number two, Crazy. In second place, in that all-important second place, with 42,309 votes, it is song number three, and only the women know. for Europe and you might have seen by the audience reaction earlier the one that will represent the United Kingdom and this year's Eurovision in Stockholm with 47,355 votes song number four don't play that in the kitchen. What's going on there? Well, it's a favourite place to work. Uh, most of the songs get written in there, to be honest. Not in the studio, in the kitchen, nice cup of tea. Yeah. And how, how many cups of tea were there with this one? There was about three. It was a three-cupper. <laughs> Not too bad. Well, I think Nikki is getting in place as we speak. She's looking emotional. She's waving the Union Jack, which she will be doing in Stockholm. And it just remains for me to say a massive thank you to everyone who voted. I have loved being with you. And I leave you with our song for Europe, the one we hope will do it at this year's Eurovision in Stockholm. It is, of course, Nikki French with Don't Play That Song Again. See you soon. Bye. Yeah.